Welcome to this speakerfee tutorial on designing a pen box. We'll explore nodes and tools on this cloud-based platform to create a unique, functional design. Let's get started. This video shows a 3D box model that is being manipulated with different parameters. The parameters can be used to change the appearance of the box, such as the width, length, height, and the number of columns and rows in the box. First, we'll define the basic dimensions of our pen box using range input nodes. These nodes allow us to specify a range of values for parameters like width, length, and height, providing flexibility in controlling the size of our box. With our parameters set, we can now create the initial box shape using the box node. This node generates a simple box geometry based on the given width, length, and height values. To design the detailed structure of our pen holder, we'll use the solid edges node to extract and isolate the edges from the solid geometry. Instead of using all six edges, we'll select just four specific sides of the box. The list item node helps us pick out individual elements from a list of items, in this case, the edges of the box. Next, we'll create a surface from these selected edges using the curve to surface node. This node transforms lines or curves into smooth, continuous surfaces, forming the foundation for our pen holder's design. To add a dynamic pattern to our surface, We'll use the Triangle Panel C node to divide it into a network of triangles, setting the stage for geometric designs. The Count X and Count Y parameters in the Triangle Panel C node control the number of triangles along the width and length of the surface, allowing us to adjust the density of the pattern. We add the multiplication node to multiply count x by count y and then multiply the result by 4. This value is then multiplied by seed 1, which will be a variable. The resulting value is rounded up using the seal node. Now let's introduce some randomness to our design. The random numbers list node generates a list of random numbers within a specific range, which we'll use to shuffle the order of our triangles. This will create a more dynamic and unique pattern on our pen holder. We can further control the distribution of our random triangles using the multiplication node, allowing for fine-tuning of the pattern's arrangement. The seed parameters in these nodes allow for repeatable randomization, so we can explore different variations of our pattern while maintaining a certain degree of consistency. To select the triangles, we use the list item node. We will now take those shuffled triangles and convert them back into surfaces using the curve to surface node. This step prepares us for adding thickness to the pattern, creating a three-dimensional structure. To give our triangles a substantial form, we'll use the pipe node. This node adds thickness to lines or curves. In our case, this will give the triangle pattern a tangible three-dimensional presence. Next, we'll create the base for our pen box using the rectangle node. This node generates a simple rectangular shape based on given width and length parameters. We'll connect this rectangle to the curve to surface node, 
forming a solid base with the same thickness as the triangle pattern. Finally, let's add some visual realism to our pen box using the Apply Material node. This node allows us to assign materials with specific properties to our geometry, controlling how light interacts with the surface. We can further fine-tune the appearance of our pen box by adjusting parameters like roughness and opacity in the Apply Material node. Roughness determines how smooth or rough the surface appears, affecting how light scatters. Opacity controls the transparency of the material, allowing for variations in how much light passes through. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.